Hey guys, I want to try out this game because I've been having some issues with Born and Bread, so let's see how this goes. It's Calebra. Um, does it work with controller? <laughs> Might need to play. Let's see, options. <laughs> is that all the options there is? Uh, okay, it's going to play with the mouse and keyboard. Or just keyboard, I guess. Okay, this kind of interesting start. I mean, the start menu is kind of weird. I kind of do like the presentation of this. I'm probably not going to be reading text like I do in a border bread. I'm not. <laughs> I really like the presentation of this game. I know when I saw the trailer of it in one of the Paper Mario directs. It's not an official direct. It's like a fan bunch of fan games of Paper Mario. Um, so it's, uh... <laughs> I, I really like how it looks, though. And the charm. This is cool. Ooh, they got back sprites, too. Is there a start menu? Assume the same options as before. Yeah. Okay. Can he jump or something? Oh, he can do <laughs> this. Ooh, it's like a very small tack. I like the animation for it, though. It's like a very storybook esque kind of game. At least uh, the feel I'm getting. Oh no. A little toucan? <laughs> I like the little autocutions from this character. It's cute. Oh, I wonder why they don't want to tell me their name. Oh, I should have done like a little animation when the character says my er when my character says their name. Oh, I can't just, uh... Oh, this is how it tells me. Oh, so I can move. That's cool. <laughs> There's some scissors. Private property keep out. <laughs> if you're looking for something lost, I didn't steal it. <laughs> didn't. Oh, see, okay. I wonder why it goes full black. You know what, it probably would be nice. Um, kind of do a little bit of transparency that we can still see the game. But that's just my opinion. Ooh, I like that fadeaway transition. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, very interesting start. I like it though. Combine? That's interesting. Flora. Maybe I should be reading this? I don't know. Because <laughs> it definitely allows Born and Bread to actually, like, for me to remember a lot of stuff that happens in Born and Bread. It gives a lot more character if I'm reading stuff aloud, but I don't know if I want to be uh, reading it for this. V, okay. So there's more than just two buttons here. Lady in the Vines. I really like this UI. An auto lady that you found trapped in some mine. She gave you this notebook as a thanks. A and S. 
<laughs> kind of cool. Exit. <laughs> I like the little animation. I forgot what this character said their name was. Oh, you can do fast text. <laughs> oh, okay, it just reads it faster. Okay. I thought it was going to kind of do like how Banji Kasui did them. I forget if it's in. I think it's in the first one because it's. Yeah, the first one. Because in Banjo Kazooie, you can slow down or speed up their voices. And I think they got rid of that in Banjo Tooie. Oh, my eyes are on fire, so I'm pretty sure I can see things here pretty well. Limbo. Well, she, well, she knows what limbo is. Wow. Comes a maze from which they can't escape, a spiral of many dark corners. But there's always an exit, one they must find. No soul is exempt from this rule. And that includes you, Culebra. Something holds you to this place. My character should look back to them. Like, what? <laughs> Although it's not common, but I see hope in your eyes. Oh, it's more so fire, but yeah. Oh, man, I like the visuals of this game. It's so good. Simple, but it's very good. I believe your soul brings light to this place, but ultimately it is up to you to prove it. Well, it looks like we're almost at the exit. I like her design though. <laughs> uh, it probably reminds me the most of like Viva Pinata or something. I get the feelings that the answers you may lie, you seek may lie in others, call it a hunch. Be safe, Culebra. I'll be around. I wonder how long this demo is. Oh, can't go back to Limbo now. And you're still stranded at the bottom of the chasm. Oh, lady, no. It says you're in Limbo, a place where lost souls with unfinished business remain. Despite this, there's hope that you'll be able to persevere and bring light to this place. Let's hope. Hehehe. <laughs> Oh, I love that design, dude. I was there's another channel I want to make for making animations. Although I suck at drawing, I want to get better at drawing. So, making a YouTube channel for drawing, I think, would be pretty cool. And I want to do it of like a crow of this kind of design, where it's all black. I mean, all crows or ravens are kind of black, but like have that in just the white people's. Good morning, sir. <laughs> See, this is why I don't want to do voices for these characters because the audiocutions are their voices already. I don't need to do it for them. My name is Crow, and I'm the delivery service brought to you by... <laughs> I love that. That's very cute. The Wing Union. I have a package for you. You got a pocket watch. Why does everybody know who I am? Skinny, short, dead. Fits the description. Maybe he, like, pops up every now and again. Anyways, the pocket watch also came with a message for you. I'll read it out for you. <laughs> Ahem. Dear Culebra, time flies around here, so this should help you keep track of it. Look at the bottom of the screen to know if it's day, evening, or night. I wonder if I can, like, manipulate time. Time is precious around here. Use it wisely. I suggest you head to the plaza. You may find something useful there. Best of luck, sign the old lady he just met. Well, this old lady has been very helpful for me. Also, I don't mind my guessing, but you seem pretty lost. Currently at Dead Valley. A fam place famous for dry lands. Go oh. I didn't... I didn't skip through that. Maybe it's because that event of the rock falling forced the uh, dialogue to go through. Close call. Better place myself over there. Top of the rock? Yep. You know what they say, a bowler doesn't strike twice in the same place. Let's hope not, Crow. By the way, Plaza is that town over there in the mountains. Ooh, boy, it's pretty far. View's great from up here. Too bad I don't have time to take a good look at it. But it's okay. I'll come back after work anyways. You know? Still not feeling safe here. Get out of there, then. 
Besides, I still got some mail to deliver, so... <laughs> they gotta reuse that again. I mean, it's so great. A feather wing at your service. Have a good day, sir. That's cool. Crow. Crow is a delivery bird working for the wing unit. Um, okay, so the pocket watch just lets me see the time at the bottom, okay. I will say the movement feels a bit sluggish, even with the roll there. You're a dead valley. To the left, mysterious ruins, Livi leaving dead valley. Wait, did I miss something over here, or is that just it? Maybe this is just the ruins here? Ah, I did see a vase there. It's in here. Pearls. Hmm, a good thing I went back up there. Does that have a face? I feel like it has eyelashes and lips. Hmm. Only those who pay tribute shall be allowed within the sanctuary. You who wants to pay respects. When twilight looms over the valley, after finding a home of flower beginners, knock twice at this door and listen closely to what it has to say. Only then will your debt be thrown, shown unto you at this tablet. Okay. Something over here. More pearls. Gonna be rich. I really like the colors for this, too. Oh, Crow. Or at least the thing he works for. I <laughs> need a friend. Welcome to Dead Valley. There's a quick guide to get you started. Named by people who, that did not know what a valley actually is, Dead Valley is not as barren as you may think. Be sure to check out and support local businesses, and yeah, that's always true. Tourist attractions such as Rose's Flower Shop, Talking Boulder. Please be advised, Dead Valley is known for its frequent rock falls. Oh, really? <laughs> Upon notice, any signs of a rock fall, take necessary precautions and stick clear from its paths. Now go and enjoy your stay at Dead Valley. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's all it says. <laughs> Something else. Yeah, sure. Rose's Flower Shop Grand Opening. We're the best flower providers in the region. We have something for everyone from absolute beginners to the most experienced gardeners. I want to start gardening too. I think it's a pretty fun thing to get into. The only problem is I live in a desert, so it's a little bit diff uh, annoying to do. I mean, you could still garden in desert climates. But though the heat is definitely a thing you need to be mindful of. Be sure to pay us a visit during your stay at Dead Valley. We're open all day. And that's all it says. Pearls, what are they for? Assuming there's some sort of currency. The official currency of this region. They're often found in tight spaces stuck somewhere out of reach. Sometimes they get stuck inside containers. Pearls are very shiny. It's possible you catch a glimpse of straight ones if you're paying attention. That's all it says. Oh, that's it. Cool. Pinwheel. No, I can't interact with the pinwheel. You can buy a flower for 15 uh, pearls. No pearls. Just one that time. Can I read this? Mm. Ooh, a chest. I wonder if I need an actual key or... Just as a simple lock. Well, I don't have that key, so I guess not. <laughs> it actually pushed me away. That's interesting. Once I start moving, it keeps me in this state. <laughs> Wet paint. You can pet a flower, huh? Let's go in here. See Rosa. A pretty apt name for a flower. Or a gardener. 
I like this game a lot because it's got like a Dia de los Muertos kind of vibe to it. I always wanted to make a game about Dia de los Muertos. Wait. Oh, is the other lady named Rosa? That's funny that is Rosa and Flora. <laughs> the lady over there is Rosa, the store owner. Yeah. Hi, nice to meet you. My daughter will help you with anything you need. Oh, there's a little picture of her on the top left. <laughs> it's cute. Sure. Assume this says the same as before. Oh no, this is different, okay. Let me read this again. When you're here to serve both the living and the dead. Dead and lost? Let's give you a hand. Live and hungry? We're hiring. <laughs> Helping fees may apply. Hey there, Flora. Something I can help with? Oh, you get to unlock stuff. Maybe as you talk about stuff, it unlocks. Take a look. Something catch your eye? Sure, let's buy it. Don't know what I can do with it, but... Got it. Oh, that's cool. I know a lot of people get succulents when they're starting off because of the low maintenance that they are. Ooh, well, if you guys sell them, I'll buy them. <laughs> Liquidation sale. Oh. Oh, that's gotta be sad. Why well, can't... If I had the pearls, I'll probably come back and buy that, but... Still gotta wait for the one in the middle to be available. Huh. I guess I'll talk to Rosa. Hello, dears. Is there something you want to talk about? About the Nuva flower. Is it like a Nova? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. To be very careful with these flowers, even though they seem easy to care for. Even just one flower can be quite a handful. Make sure you put in all the care that the flower needs. Thank you for buying, dear. Is that the Estrella? Uh... Requires a lot of effort and dedication to raise this beauty properly. I had to spend all day taking care of it. I would recommend it to you. Estrella would be too difficult for someone just getting started. Don't worry, I'm sure there are other flowers that would be a better fit for you. Hmm. I wonder how you unlock those dialogue options. <laughs> Don't go to the shops here. I like that interaction. I don't know if there'll be other interactions for me like doing it repeatedly, but that's something. Uh, I think we can get more pearls here. Oh, no. Dang. So there's a key here that... Oh, wait. I can... No, I can't go up here. I swear some leaves will pop up above this crate when you hit it. Hmm. I don't know if I'm missing something here. Definitely feels like there's more I could probably do, but I don't have whatever the key is. I wonder if there's new dialogue. Ooh, meteor shower report. Wing Union brings you the latest report on meteor showers. We provide the most accurate details, statistics, to pinpoint pearls in your area. Here's our latest report. There should be around 12 pearls stranded at Dead Valley. That's all it says. I collected a couple already. Come to Dead Valley's main tourist attraction, the Talking Boulders. It says that this boulder is alive and capable of speech. It's said to be incredibly wise too. Fortunately, no one remains who has spoken with it, and the secret to awaken has been lost to time. Aww. Will you be the one to awaken it once... Again from Zeep Slumber, go and try your luck. That's all it says. PSA. Beware of local scammer. There have been numerous reports of birds stealing goods and reselling them for pearls. Be cautious of any birds and don't leave your goods unsupervised. Message, message courtesy of the wing union. Yeah, I guess they would want to prevent any bad mouthing of birds because they are birds. Oh, nope. 
There we go. Is this that boulder they're talking about? The talking boulder. Legend says that this boulder is alive and is capable of speech. Will you be the one to awaken it once again from its slumber? Hey, fella. Maybe you gotta hit it. Oh, that's weird. Usually those things have money in them. Oh, no, there's nothing in there. Gate help ward. If the gate's locked, ask Rosa at the flower shop for assistance. Okay. This is how you, uh... I guess progress the story. I think that's it here, then? I wonder if we'll be able to use the key that she gives us to, uh... Unlock all the other stuff around here. We need the key. We need help getting the gate open. I'm sorry, dear, we don't know anything about that. You see the sign nearby I told you to ask? Are you sure? Must be some sort of mistake. Maybe someone's playing a prank on you. Anything else you like to talk about? Mm hmm. Do you know Flora? You need to get the gate open to leave Dead Valley. Apologies, but we can't help you with opening the gate at the moment. Ask tomorrow. Maybe you'll find some way to get through the door. In the meantime, please try to find another way. Mm, I wonder why they don't want to help me. Like, do they literally not have a way to help me, or... They just don't want to help me. Hey, it's Crow! What's up, Crow? He's cleaning up the bench a bit now. It's, that is stun drying. Yeah, we can sit. Oh, to progress time, I see. <laughs> I love it when he does that. So far, Crow is my favorite character. I assume there's different lighting. Oh yeah, ooh, that looks very nice. Oh. oh, they have different states too during the time of days. That's really cool. Hey, good to see you again. Is there something I can do for you? What you doing? Not much, I was just thinking. I wanna get the dual life flower we have at this garden to put up for sale. Fortunately, I can't seem to find the key to open this gate. I guess he could just go over it, couldn't you? She seems tall enough to do that. If I had found it early today, I would have taken care of this during the day. Huh. I'm sure the key is somewhere still at home. I never leave it outside. If I happen to find it tonight, I can always do it tomorrow. Anyways, is there something else you want to talk about? Like I said before, we can't help you. I thought there'd be like a different dialogue. Oh, that's it. Oh. Wait, I guess there's a sign that says that. This music is really nice. Oops. I guess I'll go see uh, Crow then. This isn't open right now, is it? Oh no, I need the flower stuff first, I think. There he is. Is he sleeping? Hey, Glubra. Is there something you want to talk about? Do you know how to get that gate open? Oh, you say the gate is locked. Well, that's not good. You won't be able to get anywhere before taking care of that. Let me think. Hmm. Have you tried asking about the local flower shop? They may know a thing. They don't want to help me. But you already did. Oh, well. I got a crazy idea. 
Have you seen the boulder near the gate? The one with the weird face? You've probably read about it by now, the local tourist attraction, the talking boulder. The rumors are true that it may know something about getting that gate open. The problem is, I don't know how to talk to it, or the myth, or if the myth is even real. I have to admit that I'm passionate about the mystery myself. But so far, it's only been a legend around here. I don't know anyone who has come to speak with it. I tried talking to it while I'm here during the day and evening, but it won't talk to me. Maybe I'm doing something wrong? I certainly can give it a shot. The rumor says that the boulder speaks and likes gifts, as much as I know. Please, let me know how it goes for you. Like I said, I'm a fan of the legend. Something else you want to talk about? Guess nothing else for now. Uh, I wonder if I need to make a knight. And then uh, give him the flower that I got. Still blocked off. Is there anything down uh, here? Oh, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Is this all one area? I didn't realize that before. <laughs> Some pretty big areas. Oh, look at all this. Oops. I think what I need to do is make it nighttime and then try talking to the boulder. Because if he said that he can do it during the day and the evening, the only thing that leaves is nighttime. I skipped it the last time. I want to see what it does. Does it not really show any change? Oh, I guess not. So I guess skipping it's not too much of a hassle. I wonder if the music changes too during different times of day. Oh, that's so nice though. All well, these are fireflies. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, the music seems to change. You know what I need to check next time and see if the it transitions the uh, lighting and stuff. Can I talk to you now? It's a Is hobby. someone there? Oh, hello. I don't think I've seen you before. Has nobody ever came here during night time? <laughs> yes. I'm talking Boulder. The name's Rocco. <laughs> I like the name for Jan Rock. I'll sound like they're uh, voices for loud acutions. Only awake from a deep slumber at night. Now, what is it that you want? Do you know how to open that gate? You need help opening the lock gate behind me. Let's see. I can help you with that. Let's say I got a trick to open it. I don't need you to do something for me first. You need a flower? See, the truth is, I get pretty lonely in here. I don't get many visitors either, so that's why I want to ask you this. Can you give me a flower? Want to keep you company? Oh, I got you, buddy. This plant right here should be fine. Hmm. No, this won't do. I'm afraid to miscalculate it. In my conclusions, I still feel long. I don't know if I can get the astraya for you. Junk ball. Don't look at me like that. I know it's not much, but it's all I have. Make sure you find something useful if you look closely. At least I need your help. Uh, do I examine it? Let's see. Two hairpins. Hmm. I guess I can use those to unlock stuff.
wonder if I can use it here. Towards a simple lock. In fact, so easy you could probably pry it open with something small. Like a hairpin? Oh, I see. There you go. <laughs> it's an interesting lockpick mechanism. Or, uh, gameplay. Oh. Well, thankfully it's not like Skyrim where things just break. What is that? I wonder if it was, like, where the lock is. It's still, like, trying to interact with stuff. <laughs> like, what's that? More pearls. There we go. <laughs> it's kind of tricky to get the right spot. You can hear what they're saying slightly better from this wall. Would it be okay to lean against the wall and eavesdrop? Well, if I want to progress the story, yeah. Oh, I see. That's, that's interesting. I didn't realize that first. How come you didn't notice, Mom? I've been looking for it all day. Same the key. I told you, dear, I didn't realize I was sitting on it. Sorry for the trouble. I didn't mean to upset you. It's alright. I know you didn't mean to. You need to wake up, Mom. You've been distracted a lot lately. It's getting late. Let's go to bed. Ahem, <laughs> it looks like we got a little spy over here. The nerve of some people. Is this the scammer bird? Keep an eye on you. Uh, I want to go check some other stuff too. Can I unlock this? I like this uh, little locking mini game. Pearls. I still need a couple more if I want to get the uh, Estrella, which I assume I have to buy it, and then Ro it takes it away from Rosa, which she'll probably not be too happy about that. Uh, we'll see if Crow's up here. You know those ambiences remind me of. Uh, Breath of the Wilder Tears of the Kingdom is how quiet it is at night. Kind of peaceful. Especially the fireflies, too. Okay, well, I guess we can, uh... Just make it morning? Yeah, it does reset. <laughs> or at least that's what it looks like it's doing. Oh, it starts you off there again. Good day, sir. So does it do like a little deja vu thing? Like kind of a Majora's Mask? Yeah, it is. Oh, that's where they get deja vu as well. This is a very interesting game mechanic though, I like it. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, the old lady did mention that about forgetting stuff. Oh. I wonder if that flower pot I bought is gonna go back. I assume pearls are kind of uh, exempt from this because that would be annoying. Wait, you already met him. 
Oh my gosh, so it really is true. <laughs> the little sparkles. My legs are shaking. I could die right now. Figured this week, no offense. But it's only awake during the night, you say? Oh man, that's a shame. I want to ask for its autograph, but if it's only awake when I'm away, then it's a lost cause. Oh, that's gotta suck. Unless someone could get it for me? Calebra, you have to do this for me. Is that one of the items that doesn't disappear? Here, take this. A lottery ticket. Okay. Counting on you, Calibra. Still got some time left. Do you want to check up? Chat about something? Stalking bird? I know anything about white bird stalking others. Hmm. I think I know who you're talking about. It's probably Pika. She's my cousin. Now, I don't know if it's Pika or Pika. I've heard it pronounced Pika before, but... She's my cousin. Always doing shady stuff and getting into trouble. <laughs> it, it, she is a scammer. I think she's currently wanted for a series of scams. I don't know much about what she's doing nowadays. I usually try to stay away from her antics. She's usually eavesdropping by herself, counting money high in a tree. I'd recommend you stay away from her. I got some time left. Do you want to chat about something quick? Uh, I don't hear anything news about her. Okay. Oh, that's it. See you, crow. Yeah, that's gonna allow for a very interesting... I mean, I really like that mechanic in Majora's Mask, so it's kind of cool that something similar is happening in, in this game. So that chest is already open, right? Yeah, because that gate's already open. Can I interact with the mailbox? Oh, hello there. Oh, that's interesting that two still shows up. So this makes more sense why there's those locked dialogue options, because you have to do stuff to unlock it. You're sitting on a key. No, move, lady. Asking if I lost something. Oh, I've been looking for my garden key all day to get the dual dual duo life ready. What do you ask? Well, considering how flat it is, I, I wouldn't be surprised if she didn't know. She seems very distraught. She did mention that last time when they were talking at night. <laughs> oh, that was a weird uh, little cutscene there, or the camera change there. Is that little thing I knocked down here still there? I don't see it now. Oh no, it is. Cool. How's that little flower doing? Oh, I get some scissors. Oh, that's right, her name is Flora. Oh, you know why? Because Pika stole them, that's right. That was some strong vines. Culebra. Hmm.
I also just red and blue. <laughs> and she just leaves me to do it. Okay. Okay, so we need the red. Oh, I see. Okay. So we do combine with this to make the purple one. And then we use it on here. Oh, we have to let her know. Oh, okay. So this one will reset, I'm guessing. Yeah, I did notice an X on one of the trees, so that's good. I think it's over at the ruins. Here it is. Guessing I have to do this. Yep. <laughs> Nice. Got your stuff. <laughs> Look, I just teleported us there. Because they don't want to deal with the uh, navigation towards it. I wonder who's making that sound? Maybe Rosa? Hopefully that wasn't connected to her. Oh, oh thank goodness. <laughs> Cares more about her flowers. Oh, the dual life was the one that said uh, coming soon. Hmm. <laughs> She's pops away. Obviously that stuff is going to be in this demo, but it shouldn't be in the official release. Okay. Let's see, I guess the only other thing I need to do... Uh, I guess I could probably talk to Pika. Or Pika. Is she going to come out? Thought that might bring her out if hitting the tree didn't. Guess I'll check a little bit more before I turn it into a evening. Oh, the flower is still there. That's good. That means I don't have to buy it again. Yeah, the evening is probably my favorite. Although in real life, I don't really like evening that much. But in this game, it's very nice. Oh. Oh, maybe he passed through limbo. That might have been a thing that happened. Oh, and that's why she's she cares a lot about the Estrella flower because it reminds her of a husband. Aww. Okay. 
Okay, so he didn't like pass through limbo, he just left. I like the way the sun looks in the clouds, it's very simple, but it's so nice. Oh. That's why they're so touchy about that key as well, that makes sense. Ah, uh, and that's why I need to sell. That's why I need to do the liquidation to get them out of here. They do alive. Ooh, a soul mark, that's kinda cool. Um go check if there's anything over here. I don't want to miss any stuff here. This content is really good. That'd be funny if this rock guy was the dad, but I doubt it. I guess I'll go check the cliff area. Also, I need to make sure I read the sign again. Because I think it's after I finish all the flower stuff. And come at night, I believe. Twilight rooms. So it needs to be evening? After finding the home of the flower of the beginners. Knock twice at this door. Okay. I'm surprised I'm able to do this this early, but Do it right? Huh. The day it's at its warmest, so during the day, I'm guessing. After leaving your mark on someone's soul. This tablet to the talking boulder with non-stop spinning. Oh no. This is your debt. Okay. So I'll need to make a day again. Bro, we got any other stuff? Nope. Well, that reminds me, I do need to get the autograph for uh, Crow. So I need to be good at doing this spinning stuff without bumping into stuff, because <laughs> otherwise I can't get that debt completed. Those marks, uh, does it show up in the characters or in my inventory? Let's see. Oh, it shows those are your little quests. Oh, there's more. Moment at the birch. <laughs> that picture of Pika. Uh, maybe she's up the tree right now. Snake. Oh, I was probably talking about her dad. I guess we'll listen to this. Okay. 
So his name is Seed, I'm guessing. It's kind of funny if they're keeping the flower names. I'm surprised uh, Pika didn't show up. Let's go get that autograph. And I think we need to loop one more time uh, to get all the flowers. Hey, Rocco. Got another flower for you. <laughs> what do you sign it with? Here's a duel live. I think you want one more, huh? Oh, I didn't know there's a letter attached. Huh. That's interesting. Why would, uh, like, I know he's got all these, like, flowers near him. Yeah, I was gonna say, she's gonna steal it, isn't she? Oh, I know where she's gonna go. Don't worry, buddy. Oh, there's another one of these pillars here, too. So I'll know when I accomplish the rolling thing. I wonder if I can knock her out from here. Yeah. You stole it. <laughs> karma, Pika. It's karma. You stole when I was supposed to get that for free. Okay, I guess we can give him the autograph. And then we can get the flower as well. Can we skip all this? I guess because he has strong emotions for it that he remembers this. More oh, pearls. Sick. Nope. Uh, yeah, nah. <laughs> See you later, crow. Okay, let me see if I can do this again. So where do I have to start, though? Data is more, so just right now. After you're leaving your mark on someone's soul. From this tablet to the talking boulder. Okay. Let's go from here. Oh. I feel like this is going to be a lot tougher than I think it's going to be. No! <laughs> I'll give it a couple of tries, but... Okay. 
Oh, man. I did it. <laughs> okay, that wasn't too bad. I wonder if the entrance is open, because I paid the two debts, right? Let's go buy that flower and I'll go check out that, uh, area again. We can finally buy the Yestrea. Oh, she probably remembers me because of the impact I left on her soul, right? And so that explains why Rosa doesn't remember me. But they... So the people of Limbo aren't aware of this, right? Crow says he does, but... Yeah, I got a hat. Wait, it belongs to the plant whisperer. So was Rocco seed after all? <laughs> Did I guess it right? <laughs> I wonder why Cool was bubbled decay there. Mm -hmm. Hmm, how would I know this? Do I need to, like, read some of the posters about them? Rosa? Oh, I guess that makes sense because of the rock guy is at night, right? So it's like the perfect place for him. Now they can move out. I don't think she wants to. Uh-oh. Wait, wait, no. La, 
You know what I noticed? Uh, there's no like actual paper market combat so far. <laughs> oh no. Maybe I might speak too soon. Maybe there's gonna be some combat. It's been us. <laughs> Darkness, huh? <laughs> oh, lady. Oh, so that's cool. That really helps incentivize people for actually doing all the quests. That's a really cool idea for combat. You even told me that. <laughs> well, we gotta get it from a tree. Oh no. Well, it doesn't have to take moonlight instead. Yeah. Help, all lady. Okay. Oh, that explains why this is over here. And these are blue, I'm guessing. Oh no, it's black. Okay. Is there another one? There it is. Oh, where's the mixer, though? Do I combine this with that? <clears throat> this with that? Now we can cut them. Yep. Get 
Okay. <laughs> I like this. This is funny. I was wondering how we're going to get the, rid of the majority of the darkness, but I guess that's how you do it. Okay, now Rosa. What's their house? I like how it's quiet here. There's stuff I can read? Oh, yeah. Dad? No, that'll never understand why you left us. Well, I'm sure I had her issues, but I wanted to leave too, but we're always there for you. As much as I resent you, know that I'm willing to forget what happened and start over. If you ever read this, know that I'm tired and I miss you. Most importantly, even if we don't ever see each other again, know that I forgive you. Your daughter, Flora. Oh. Mom has removed Dad's pictures from the walls. I guess this is her attempt to forget about him. But I still see him. All their many pictures on the wall were shot by him. To me, it's like looking back to the past through his eyes. I know it's hard, Mom, but your attempt to forget him hasn't worked. Not for me. He's still here, in every corner of this house. So I need the key to open it? Yeah, I did. It's limbo. Oh, I like how there are the vines there. No, oh, yeah, it was just what I thought. So he's supposed to be like a guide to uh, to Limbo, letting people pass on. Oh. Are these like all her memories? Yeah. 
No, she could have. Oh, man. I was hoping that didn't happen. So that means those little firefly things are people's souls? He is the rock dude. <laughs> oh man. They get cursed or something? Why do you turn into a rock? Oh, this should be with her mom. There is an interaction here. There it is again. Oh, it's this thing. Oh, one thing I was going to say, I thought it wasn't a good time to say at the time, but when you're taking somebody to Limbo, it's uh, the way that this game is kind of like storybook-like. I think it's a really good way to just show people to come to peace with their life and the issues that they were having, like with uh, Rosa there. It's really good. And now we get to see the reality of what this is actually. Oh, man. <laughs> That's rough. Hmm. That's interesting, because usually in games, you have this, whenever you do all this stuff, it makes things better. But here, it's, you don't, or at least visually, you don't make things better, but you help the people there pass on and move on. It's interesting. Because, like, there shouldn't be, like, in the idea of Limbo, you shouldn't be there for long. At least, you don't want to be there for long because it's, like, a place where you're stuck in, right? And you're helping them by escape the, escaping that Limbo or Purgatory. Something over here? I thought I checked this already. Hmm. Well, if the rest of the game is going to be like this, it's, uh. Can't wait for this game to come out then. Because that means all the characters and interactions you have, um. that they'll be gone. It's going to be sad, but. You're helping them pass over and deal with the the issues and struggles that they're dealing with. I 
You're not Rocco. That's not your real name. Oh yeah, I guess I sh if I went back and talked to him, <laughs> I would've got that. Now your seed? Oh my god. <laughs> I completely forgot about that subplot of just rocks falling everywhere. Oh my god. <laughs> You know what's so sad? They were always wondering when he would come back, and he was always there, but they just never bothered to be there at night. Oh, that's sad. Unfortunately, they're gone now. Is it just a rock now? Oof. I guess the only thing we need to do is the uh, little sanctuary thing here. Is there anything over here before I do that? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, I'm dumb. I think we need to use the uh, scissors. There we go. Yeah, having those statues there, it's very helpful for figuring out where you need to do this. So far, I'm really enjoying the game. Uh, you know, it's a lack of combat, but I think the thing I like more about Paper Mario games is just oh, <laughs> the, the mic is the, the design of the game visually, uh, the environments and the music, uh, the people who inhabit the world and just the dialogue overall. And so far, this game is just doing everything well, in my opinion. Uh, there doesn't need to be the combat because uh, I really enjoyed Boner Bread and I don't think the combat is that great in that game compared to like Thousand Year Door. But it, so far, Boner Bread is still a really great game. Albeit for the bugs that I encounter a lot, but still a great game with its world building and story. Truth will be shown to those who find the light within the sanctuary. Hmm. Was I supposed to find something else? There is this thing up here. Oh, 
There we go. Because it was kind of obvious with like the said light, and that was the only thing lit up. Ooh, I love the colors in this game, dude. It's so nice. I also, I think, like, uh, Limbo or Death or these kind of underworldish kind of uh, settings in games, I think, always allow for just the wackiest color palettes to just shine brightly <laughs> and not, not make me joke about how bright the colors are, but, like, it's probably the best kind of areas where you can just put wacky colors because they don't need to be natural colors like greens and browns and stuff like that. This is the word of the wise demons. Ultimately, all our attempts to stop her have failed. The unstoppable force of nature was hunting us by the thousands. But whomever reads this much snow that we drove ourselves to the end is the response of the innocence we exploited. It came as an answer to a cry. We believe darkness ruled over all things, but we were nothing but fools. Those who walked the path will only meet mother. I wonder if that's the old lady we found at the beginning. Something that can only be described as punishment. The few of us who remain have come to understand that this is a repayment. Or, the few of us who remain have come to understand that this is a payment for our actions. Therefore, let our remaining structures be proof of our existence and our mistakes since our souls will not remain. Our last efforts are nothing but a warning. Fear, fear what is referred to as mother. Hmm. Oh, that was kind of weird. They need to work on that loading stuff. Okay. Well, I guess that's going to be more important for, like, if you actually play the game. I want to see if there's anything back here now. Well, I guess I'll head out then to that gate. Oh, there was something over here. Something behind this rock. I think it's just more pearls, though. Oh, yeah, three of them. Though, I think this is the end of the demo, though. I mean, it's a really good demo, though. That was really cool. I enjoyed this a lot. Uh, I'm super excited for when the game actually comes out. It's made in Unity too. Oh, really great Unity game. No, I think that's it. So see you guys later.